Hey guys, Joe here at uh, ECRM's Phoenix Sessions. We have about six sessions going on, but I'm with Garrett and Nick from uh, Vita5, and they're here for our contract manufacturing session. And we're gonna do a little bit of an update uh, since uh, the last time that they came to one of our sessions. So thank you guys for joining us. And uh, so you were at our vitamin um, weight management and sports nutrition session last year, correct? Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, and that was your first time with us. And first time. They were Buyer's Choice Award winners at this session. So can you talk a little bit about what, a little overview of your experience there and then what's happened since? Yep, so got to have all the meetings as typical with the ECRM. Got uh, you know, a number of really good meetings, some good follow-up, some that said, hey, you know, not ready yet, let's follow up next year, but then we closed a number of accounts, mm -hmm. uh, including Schnucks, hy -Vee, Lewis Drug, um, and later we ended up closing HEB and uh, within HEB is Central Market as well. So what was the follow-up process like? Can you talk a little bit about, uh, you know, with all of these retailers, just because it's, I like to, to uh, give other suppliers a sense of what to expect in the follow-up process. Yeah, so, so I, th I think it, it's kind of a, a mixture of a couple of things. So obviously making the direct contact with um, the retailers from the show and then also having yourself. I think the range me platform is great okay. um, It's almost like your social profile for your mm -hmm. brand um, And so they they end up seeing you on there as well, and then um, we end up using um, Finding out that brokers are pretty important um, So we were able, able to meet an awesome brokerage firm um, from that ECRM They were okay. actually there and they they came to our table and said we could uh, we could provide services for these retailers and mm -hmm. one of the retailers we closed they actually helped us close which is our biggest account the HEB one gotcha. and so uh, that's just been awesome um, and yeah so I mean really if you want to think about it one ECRM gained us almost 500 locations nice um, so a pretty good return on investment okay. I'd say but you got to do the work yes. you got to do that's the right. follow-up yeah. I mean that's but one thing that's that. critical now were these you know um, what was your approach as far as you know, contact and reaching out to the buyers afterwards. Because I know sometimes, you know, it may take a little while for them to get back to you once they dig out from our yeah. sessions. So, can you talk you know, a little bit about that? Yeah, it's funny because we had some of them that were super quick. Okay. I mean, we, we couldn't even get to the follow-ups before they had said, hey, you know, here's a purchase order. Okay. And then we had a majority of them, though, where it's going to take a few weeks or a month or even a couple months. Mm -hmm. um, we also went to the vitamin um, ECRM just a couple months ago. March. Okay, yeah. yeah. And we've got some, and it's just a slower process, right? Okay. So, like, we're working on some because resets aren't until October. Yep. Well, you know, we're working on stuff now. So, but I mean, it was just typical email follow up. You know, uh, I think one of the things that Gary and I always try to do with it is, you know, we're ourselves. We are not like some, we're not very corporate, like PowerPoint, this, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But, like, hey, let's show you what we have. Mm -hmm. We've got a ton of information that we can show you. Okay. But we're going to just give you kind of like, you let us know what you want, what you need, okay. and we'll kind of. Go from there, and then on follow-ups, it's just you know being consistent with it. Okay. You know, I've heard of people that you know never follow up, and you know the retailers aren't you know it'll slip their mind. They, they meet with eighty. They're busy. They're so committee. busy. Yeah, right. yeah. So that was that was kind of the way that we had done it. So so two great lessons, you know, be consistent and really really listen and to what the buyer wants and deliver that. Right. Respond in the way that they want. Some of them may want you to email them in a month. If they say email them in a month, email them in a month. Don't do it in two weeks or two days or whatever. So just follow their guidelines. So uh, so what are you doing here at the contract manufacturer? What are you looking for? Yeah, so we're, we're looking for, first off, as you grow, sometimes you have to outsource some of your packaging processes. Mm -hmm. And also, okay, this right. is our month supply. And one of the things I want to talk about, uh, what you were saying, like listen to the <clears> retailer, <throat> We came out with five by seven inch bags mm -hmm. at that ESRM last year. Yeah. Now they're four by six. We've shrunk them down. Now we're obviously filling these packs a little tighter. Yeah. But we had to figure that out because if we didn't, retailers wouldn't have taken us on. So it's like, whatever they're looking for, you need to find a way to meet those expectations because at the end of the day, they're the ones taking your product in their store. So that's a great point. So, so you had to you have to be responsive, uh, not just in how you interact with them. But also in your packaging, product development, yeah. they may want something a little different than what you originally were showing them. Yeah, and now that we're in stores, now we're looking for the next new thing that that I think consumers are going to want to see on shelves. So, like one one of the supplements, for instance, is lutein, okay. um, which helps block blue light, and it's good for people that are in front of computers. And yes, I mean, yes, even yeah. if you're not in front of a computer all day, you're in front of your phone all day. So, yep. and especially people going to bed at night, they always get on their phone before they go to bed. So. That's kind of the new supplement that we're 
possibly thinking of launching. Mm -hmm. So we've come to this show looking for those kind of options, also looking for packaging options. Um, I've heard a lot about that, uh, the blue light lately. Yeah. I've been, uh, like I just finished reading, I actually posted a video about it, uh, Dave Asprey's Game Changers, mm -hmm. where he was talking about, he had a thing about one, uh, a couple chapters on sleep mm -hmm. and how to get optimize your sleep. And they were talking about the blue light and how, yeah. you know, how to counteract that. So. Yeah, and a lot of people, I mean, really the easiest solution, to be completely honest, is put your phone away. Yes, but, yeah, but, but who problem, does that? The yeah. problem is so many people don't. So if they're not mm -hmm. gonna do it, there's also other solutions, gotcha. and that's kind of one of them. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's been an awesome show for us to be on the other side. Yeah, now you're here year as buyers. Yeah, yeah. so it's okay. cool because we get to walk around, and I think it gives us. We, all, I, I kind of said yesterday, it's almost like uh, it just, it's just all these ideas thrown at you within two days, and you all of a sudden, instead of feeling stale at work, going, "What's the next thing we can do?" It's mm -hmm. like I have five new things I want to work on when I get back. Yeah. So it's been great for just getting the, the mind going again to come up with new ideas for the, the business. Excellent. Well, congratulations on your success. And uh, I look forward to seeing how you guys keep progressing awesome. and growing. Awesome. Yeah, thanks, thanks Sean. Sean. Thank you. See ya.